Hi guys, it's Raven Scry. Today I'm going to be answering some of your questions from the last video that I did, uh, Ask Raven, where you guys put heaps of beautiful questions underneath. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to get to them all today, uh, but I will keep them aside uh, for the next time that I do it. Now I'm feeling like I'd like to do it maybe once a week, uh, connecting to your questions, connecting to spirit and, and just share uh, whatever wants to come through. So uh, if you'd like to have one of your questions answered, please pop them in the comments below and I will see if we can get to them. Uh, also, if you are enjoying these videos, can you please uh, give a like and subscribe and share them with whoever you feel may appreciate them. Uh, also, if you'd like to donate, um, there's details of uh, normal fiat donations and also crypto below in the comments. Well, not in the comments, in the description box. Any donations would be greatly appreciated to supporting the channel. Okay, guys. So the first question today is from Srinivas Rao, Rao Rao, uh, who asks, where should my daughter focus career-wise? So as I connect in with spirit uh, and connect to the question, I'm hearing a reference uh, in particular to San Francisco. They're showing me a lot of color and it feels like it could be very connected to the arts in some way. It reminds me of television, it reminds me of movies. Uh, it actually reminds me of Bollywood in some way. And there's, there's a reference to the team. Uh, it's like... Uh, the team that creates uh, a whole production, a production crew, possible management. Uh, so behind the scenes, uh, in some way, in this in this big, bright environment uh, connected to the arts. Now, Spirit wants to say to your daughter, dream big. And the impression that I get is that it comes naturally to her uh, to dream big but encourage this in her, encourage her to dream big. And even if it isn't what you had in mind for her, what she decides to do, encourage her and support her all the way. Okay, next question. Next question is from Clem Kadiddlehopper. Now Clem asks, Bitcoin black, is it a rug pull? Okay, so I'm hearing yes and no. I'm hearing it's it's it feels like it's a complicated energy and as I connect more I'm hearing all is not lost but in saying that it feels yeah it just feels very complicated uh, and in the way that I see and sense I'm being shown like a workplace and it feels very empty uh, like many have left the building and have not returned there's not much energy uh, going on in this building, which feels to me is Bitcoin black. And they're showing me references to arguments and disagreements uh, with parties involved. Now it feels like it's over, but yet Spirit is saying yes and no. So I ask, what, what do they mean yes and no? And, and they say it, it's not over yet, but it's like it's like they show me there may be a sudden change or a shift uh, in connection to the project that may just come out of nowhere. Um, and it's, it's interesting because I asked Spirit last year about the project and I was shown quite a negative energy in regards to the project. And I also, as I connected deeper, it felt like there was this scammy energy. And often when the scammy energy comes in, it's very uh, like... It's very much like a heightened fear vibration in the way that it feels. It's like, oh, it comes through in this certain way. So I kind of felt that last year. But now as I connect to it, uh, it's not so much there, but they're saying it's not over. Uh, so it's feeling very unclear what's to come here. Um, but it's like it obviously hasn't been fully um, lost uh, or rug pulled as you'd refer but it's like there's still something going on there um, in the way that spirit brings this through so I guess we'll connect to it at another time uh, to see but I'd, like I want to say no I think it's over and out 
my personal raven self, but I feel as though spirit's sort of saying, mm, there's something there. So we'll just leave that one there. All right, the next question. Dirty Dog 288. Hmm, that's a good name. Are you single? The answer to that one, I'll just ask spirit, is no, I'm not single. Okay, next question is from 75 Mini 75. How can I heal my skin health issues, please? Okay. Now, Spirit is referring, drawing my attention to the face, and I'm hearing the word eczema, and they show me like a burning feeling. It's like I'm feeling this kind of uncomfortable burning sensation. Now, they say... They say to me, not medication, put that away, and they kind of push that down. And they speak of you taking the time away. They're wanting you to take time away. It's stress-related. They're talking about stress-related, and it all spirals from there. And they show me things of soothing nature, things of a soothing, cooling nature. They show me like a cucumber reference which we all know is like a cliche kind of you know skin thing but the the element of the cooling um, feeling that it brings and they also are connecting connecting to the water and the impression that they give is to soothe and relax like relaxation and soothing and cooling uh, is really important in the way that it comes through so, uh, moving along, the next question is from Scott Lee, who asks, will the stock market overall be placed onto Stellar XLM blockchain? So Spirit is saying, not at this stage. It's got quite a way to go to get there. Uh, now, they, they say more developments to come. Now, they're referencing... Uh, future and they're referencing a tick they're referencing a, a green tick of approval in the future now it feels like they're following through on progress they've, they've gone for goals and they're ticking yes we, we, we did that so there's good progress here uh, to what they're working toward but in regards to them taking over the stock market overall at this stage, uh, spirit saying not at this not at this stage. Okay, so the next question. Blue Planet Hand asks, when will Australia open up to allow unvaxxed citizens to fly outbound? So, firstly, spirit is talking about Europe and they're blocking Europe they're like going no they're putting a cross on Europe uh, in connection um, now they're saying not yet but soon as in opening uh, to overseas travel they speak of a uh, they're speaking of allowing the change and everything will open back up again in the right timing now I'm not sure blue planet hand if you've been listening to my videos over the last year but they keep talking about the change but they've referenced it again um, and obviously we're still not through this change that they're speaking of but once we move through the change uh, it will open up again so they speak of traveling overseas and this limitation as having some significance to you and your trip being delayed for energetic reasons, for energetic collective reasons. Now, they're referencing somewhere that looks like Peru uh, or somewhere connected to Peru. Um, and the way that this comes through, and, and they're saying timing has to be right and there's good reason for some of these delays. Okay, moving along, next question. Now, Taya asks, will I own my own house? And the first thing that I, that I hear is yes, and it will be larger than expected. And it shows, shows this abundant energy. And they're referencing 
suffering and spiritual evolution here with you. And they're also impressing a connection to an organization that you're involved in. Uh, I'm not sure whether you're already involved in this or whether it's to come, but they're they're saying it's your organization. It feels like a, like a non-for-profit non type um, organization and they show me overseas connections. They're showing me like literally ocean and sea and over the seas. Uh, here there's some significance with this, but they're just basically impressing upon me this, this bigger wealth than you imagined, but following... Uh, following your gifts here. Okay, next question is from Marissa. Could spirit tell me what financial lessons I have to learn? I have been filled with so much self-doubt. Uh, have I ruined my blessing and was the blessing instead this sting? Now I'm hearing your, your financial lessons are a continual flow of your gifts and giving what it is that you have to the world is so important here. Believing in yourself. It is not a punishment. It's like spirit impresses upon me like this, this punishing yourself. It's like it's not a punishment. It is showing you the depth into yourself but also into your light uh, you're ex through this experience, even though it may have been tough and struggle, it's like it's showing you something um, that's quite important. So now they show me like you're being overshadowed by what others think of you or what others want of you. And they're also telling me that you're very sensitive. So this is easy to get overshadowed by others and what, what they think and know and want. And, you know, it just all comes over you and then you don't know who you are or what you actually want or, you know, finding a way to follow your voice again. It's so important is what they're saying. Even to hear it whispering to you, you know, focusing to hear your voice. And it might be quiet so quiet, but listen to the whisper to really allow yourself to guide you and your finances are part of your evolution and lessons and they speak of you retreating and coiling in some way, like recoiling, pulling away, but believe in yourself and your gifts and give them to the world. They're, they're emphasizing give them, don't, don't hold them back. Don't keep them to yourself because you're very important and these gifts are important for others, so give them and the finances will take care of themselves. And in saying that, you'll know exactly what to do with your finances as long as you follow that inner voice and give what you're here for. Give to others. Give this energy out. Don't just think about it. Don't get caught in your own in your own self-doubt or your own punishing thoughts, just give who you are because you're here and you're important. Okay, next question is from Moonbright. When will I be able to keep my money? I make good money, but I never am able to keep it. Okay, we've got lots of money questions coming in all together. Okay, they show me travel in connection to you, Moonbright, but they're also showing me a reference to the Eiffel Tower. I'm not sure how this connects, but I'll just give that to you. Uh, they say money is not meant for keeping and you are a connector. And the flow of your money will make sense later on. You're, you're meant to build things. Your money extends from your energy, give your gifts and you will see how this flow will support you. Hmm, so there seems to be a lot about giving gifts, uh, letting your, your light flow, um, and not only for you, Moonbright, but for, for Maris Marissa as well and probably many of you listening, like this seems to be a little common... Uh, message that's coming through today and 
it's interesting the way spirit will kind of bring things in groups. And in my experience, often when it comes to like mediumship and things, you know, often there's spirits that come in twos and threes at times and they're similar. So there's similar messages kind of blending and merging uh, to be offered and shared. Um, And it's actually interesting because I've even seen this taking place in regards to putting something on Gumtree uh, to sell and no one might might contact you for you know days and days but then as soon as one person um, contacts you then another one comes in within a period of not long and I always thought hmm are they scammers or are they what what are they but strangely it's like this this things coming in twos and threes that I've seen happen throughout a lot of my learning in life but only but even in the mundane yeah so thought I'd just share that anyway moving along I've got a couple more questions that I'm going to do and then I'm going to leave it till next time but the next question is from Victoria V who asks will Sheba reach a penny this year and I'm getting a no and I I feel to shall shall I go for more but I feel as though spirit's just saying no to that question okay so the last question is from Glenn Riley will XRP make a return in price following the SEC lawsuit now they show me they show me a chart and they're showing me it moving up in price um but it's like touching a resistance point and it's hitting the resistance point and it's coming down it's hitting the resistance point and it's coming down and it's looking hopeful and hitting the resistance resistance point and then moving down again so for now, that's what Spirit's showing me in regards to that question. Okay, guys. Well, I realize that I didn't get to all of you. Uh, and I know, yeah, there's quite a few that I still haven't answered. But uh, next time, um, I'm going to keep those questions. And please, if you want to um, ask a question, please pop it in the comments below underneath this video. And share the video with other people who might may like to ask questions as well. It would be very appreciated. I'm going to do these once a week. And um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to support the channel. And donations are also always welcome. I'm going to be back soon with some videos on other things. Um, it's been an interesting year, so take care out there and I'll see you guys again soon. Raven Scry signing off.